Welcome back, my beauties. So today, I want to thank you, or rather tonight, thank you for joining me and watching me in my many back-to-back -back videos that I have been doing, as you can see. Hair color is the same, makeup's the same, clothes are the same. But I just wanted to go ahead and do this final video, and I do have more videos, but I'm gonna start pushing into more skincare videos soon. And I will have more makeup, uh, tut not tutorials, but makeup reviews that are coming for you guys. But I want to focus on this next palette that many of you guys absolutely love and adore. Some of you guys may already know what it is. I have not really tweeted or stated anything on Instagram, but it is one palette that I have never done a swatch or a video for. But I really wanted to make sure that I did do one for you based on my skin tone, skin type, so you can really see what these colors look like in my opinion based on this palette. So before I get into the palette itself, I do want to, again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for turning on your notifications. And if you have not subscribed or turned on your notifications, please do so as I will be doing giveaways. And also, just want to tell you guys, per Manny MUA, if you do not like me, you do not have to like me, and I don't care if you don't like me. It's totally fine because I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and vice versa. But if you do not like me, do not like my channel, please go ahead and close this channel off and go to your next video that you would like to watch or search for a different type of channel that you would like to see swatches or reviews of. Please give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video and hopefully you won't give it a thumbs down, but I am somewhat new to the whole YouTube channel business and no pro, not claiming I am, don't know if I'll ever will be, but everybody has to start somewhere, practice makes perfect. But let's go ahead and get right on into the palette that I want to talk to you guys about. So, the palette that everybody seems to want as of lately, even though it's been out for quite some time, is none other than the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. So, I did buy this palette quite a few months ago. I used to use it every single day. Uh, but I have not been using it as much since I have purchased so many other palettes that I'm trying to try, do new looks with, try different colors with my skin tone and see what works best, what I like, what I don't like. So with that said, I will go ahead and, and I did try and clean this up as much as possible. There are many colors I have not dipped into, but there are a lot of colors that I have. So with that said, We'll go ahead. Now this does not have a mirror as you can see, but these are all of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe colors. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, whether you have this, you would like it, I will have a giveaway for this palette as well as on my Instagram because I already did one on Twitter recently. So congrats to Vanessa underscore RLS, I believe it was. I did a collab with Close Porn and she was the winner and she did already receive her product so hopefully you are enjoying that and creating beautiful looks with it. Now with these colors, I love the range of colors with this palette. You have light colors, you have browns, you have pinks, you have oranges and reds and burgundies, you have um, some greens and teals and turquoise and purples and blues and blacks and I mean the there's 35 different shades in here. I will try and do as many shades as I can for you guys as you can see but I may not be able to get to absolutely every single one, but I will do the best that I can. I'll probably have to clean up and do some more swatches for you during the recording of this video. Um, now, I don't even remember if I said this or not, but if you don't like me, don't like my video, it's fine. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And you can skip and go to the next video that you would love to watch and watch that MUA, MUE, and hopefully you enjoy them more than me if you are not a fan of myself. And just want to welcome you guys again to vlogging with me. 
and we'll go ahead and just jump right on into these different swatches because I have seven different videos I need to edit for y'all and I want to make sure that these get to you in a reasonable amount of time. So the first two colors I do like as a transition color because they both work very very well. I also want to let you guys know all of these colors are very pigmented. There is hardly any fallout. There is fallout but there is not as much fallout as one would assume or think as other palettes have with their fallout issues. So these um, do have names. I'm not going to read them off because they are not actually on the palette itself. If you want to know what the colors are, feel free to go to morphebrushes.com and take a look at the Jaclyn Hill palette and Morphe Collab to look at what the colors are because she, she, Jaclyn Hill, did name all of these and create all of these color names herself, I do believe. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, oh yeah, one last thing. If you didn't subscribe or have not subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That way you know when I'm turning up, uploading, and creating new content for you guys to watch because I have a ton of more videos for you guys to look at, review, comment, and let me know your thoughts. Also, if there's anything specific you guys would like me to review, please let me know. You guys know how to get a hold of me. This is not my first rodeo, neither is it yours. So let's go ahead and just dip into this first color. And it is more of a cream based color. And that is what that color looks like. We're gonna start at the very top of my wrist. I mean, look how pigmented that is as a cream color. Great color. And I am going to try and whip through these colors as fast as I can because I know this will take a while. So you can see the differences in, in the color. This is a bit more yellow in my middle finger. And I'm not pressing too hard, but just enough so you can see the color. As you guys can see that the pigmentation is 110% there. We're going to start dipping into some of these tan beige colors or taupe colors. And it is light, but you can see it. But it is very close to my skin tone. I could even use this as probably a base because you're not going to be able to really see this color very well. And I will show you after three swashes. I mean, you can see it, but to me in person, it's very difficult to see. So the next color is a little bit deeper of a color. So you can't see my face. Um, compared to the last one that I just did, as you can see the differences in the color. And I will have to dip into this color a few different times just because it is quite light and very similar to the other color. So I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but that's what you have for that. I will be wasting, I don't want to say waste, but I will be using a lot of different wipes because like I said in the beginning of this video, there are 35 fucking shades. 38 bucks is what this uh, this palette does retail at, so you definitely get your money's worth. The next color is a little bit of a pink, and it has a little, little bit of shimmer to it. But I do like using this color, and I have used this color in the past. And I will try and get these as close to each other as possible, that way I can swatch as many colors as I can. So that's that pink color. Next one is a little bit of a deeper rose color, but again, it's still a pink. And that's what that color looks like. Ooh, I almost forgot what some of these look like. It's been a while since I've used this palette. Take a look at that. Now some of the pinks, I don't use a whole lot just because I 
in my opinion, it doesn't really mesh that well with my skin tone and skin color. But I do like to dabble with some of these different colors. We've got a little bit lighter of a pink shade coming right at ya. And that's what that color looks like. As you can see, the three different pinks. But it's still a very pretty pink. You can definitely use these towards the end of your, or as even as a crease, and kind of transition into like a lighter to a darker pink, if that is something that you are into. Now this next color I have never touched, but it is more of a orangey color. And I'll let you know which colors I've touched and which ones I haven't. So there's that orange. And it is a straight mat. But I'm going to dip a second time. Let's see if you guys can see that. You can see it. Some of these colors, I definitely, I always use a shadow primer or a glitter glue if I'm using glitter. And I always use a, if I don't wet my brush, if the color isn't going on very well dry, I will go ahead and use a setting spray too. So keep that in mind. If you aren't sure what type of setting spray to use and you're trying to save money, um, e.l.f. you can use. Um, I did not have the best of luck with e.l.f. I just felt that my makeup was still coming off throughout the day. There are other cheaper brands if you're looking and you're not sure, let me know. NYX has a really good one. They have a dewy one and they have just like a regular setting spray too. This next one is a little bit more of a brown color. We're not really, not necessarily taupe, but you see that color. But I will have to dip a second time into this just because of the color but you can definitely see it and I would use something like this as a faking my crease next one is a another brown she does have a lot of browns in this palette which is great and I know a lot of people do like the browns for myself I don't use them that much but when I do they are, they do work really nice. So, I mean, they are very close because I'm trying to get them as close as possible so I don't have to continuously wash them off, but I think I'm gonna have to. So I have never touched this next color and it's another brown, although I wouldn't know what to call it specifically, but there you go. And again, I, you know, sometimes I do get very shocked at some, at how some mattes go on quite well, while others do not go on as well. We've got a nice red coming up right at you. And I'm always scared to use red because I always feel like it's not going to work well. But this one is a really pretty. And I do have Modern Renaissance through ABH, in case any of you guys were curious. Again, because I'm only using four fingers, I have to constantly wipe my fingers off and let it dry for a few seconds. So I do apologize, otherwise I would have 20 hands if it was possible. So this next color I love, and it is a gorgeous color. And it's very fun to play with. Hold on. I wouldn't even know what to call this color, but that's what the color looks like. And it reminds me of, yes, a duochrome. I'm starting to just like saying duochrome. So you get that color. And let's see, the next color is I have never touched and it is more of a bronzy gold color. Like I said, there's a lot of these colors and palettes that I own that have all of the same colors. So, 
Here we go with that guy. Really nice. Now we're into our third row. I have used this next color. I just don't remember when and how well it turned out. So it's almost like a grayish color. Ooh, it looks like it's got a tint of pink to it, a pink hue. But there you have that guy. Next one is a little bit deeper of the color that I did just swatch. And it's really pretty too. I have used it. Don't remember one because I have used so many of these colors just to try and mess around and see what works best. So you guys can see that. Again, time to wash our hands off. Now some of these colors will stain your fingers slightly. Just make sure that you are wiping them off very well and you should be okay. And we always wash and sanitize our hands, don't we people? Thank you. So the next color is again more of a maroony color. Maroony, is that a word? I don't know. But I'm making it one. And that's that color. And it is a matte. So I might dip one more time into this one so you can see that color. Let me roll up my sleeves a little bit more to give myself a little bit more room. Now this next color I have not touched yet, but I am looking forward to seeing how this looks. It's a matte as well, and it's going right into my crease. It doesn't really show up that well in my opinion and I would totally use a setting spray more than likely for this especially since this is in the crease of my elbow as you can see next color again I have not touched I wish I could name you all these colors but I'm lazy and it's late And I'm just not going to log on my phone, especially since my hands are going to be super messy. So these last few colors look very similar, as you can see. I'm going to do one last color on this arm. And this color I have used, but not very much. More of a duochrome. My favorite, as you guys know. can see that so I'm trying to think I think what I'm gonna do is end up washing all of this off but I'm going to show you I will take a picture as well that way I can upload it onto my editing once I start editing this video as well but let me just wipe my hands off first One second. So, let's go ahead and take a quick pick. All right, we're good there. Okay, now comes the fun part. So I'm going to show you these colors again. just going to go ahead and wipe on off and then get to the last set of colors. Like I said, these are 35 different shades. So it's going to take a little bit and then we'll discuss it. And you can tell me your thoughts and opinions. Whether you have it, you've won it, you've won it and waiting for it whatever the situation might be 
and keep in mind I still have two more of these I will be giving away so you still have two chances to win all right so we did get that off let our arm dry a little bit next color is purple y'all know how much I love my purple so I have used this and I do like it a lot I just haven't used it as often as I would like I mean look at this it's like a royal purple the next color is a blue which I have used before and it is a matte and it's very very pretty too and my contacts are bothering me but those are those two colors in comparison the next color I have never used and it is more of a tanny color. Tanny. Tanny a word? What it is now. But it does not show up that, from what I can see, it doesn't show up that gray on my skin. But I'm going to show you. See? It's more of a gray color. This next color I have used as well. Again, another kind of bronzy color. You can see me. But that's what that color looks like. It looks really nice. It looks like a duochrome. And it's very close to that other gray color. So let me wipe my hands off. We gotta stay clean for all of these colors now don't we or at least as best as possible just so we can get the right colors on all of these shades now the next color I have not used but I'm really looking forward to seeing what this looks like very sandy but it does have a lot of glitter into it as well and it's more of a brown color the next two colors after this are also brown so that's what that one looks like and it almost again feels like a duochrome as well and you can see some of that well i don't know if you guys can see but never use this one it is a matte so i'm not sure how well this will show up on me that looks a little chunky Ooh. It it does show up though. So and just so you guys know, this is the first time I have swatched this entire palette. And yeah, my swatches suck and they're kind of big and wide, but now this next color is another little bit medium chocolate brown. Never used before. But a lot of these colors, if you use them lightly, can and you have a mono lid, you can totally use them to fake a crease. So, this one wouldn't be a bad color. Just make sure you're blending very well. In the last row, these next two colors are absolutely my favorite. This one is definitely, I would consider a duochrome, because you guys know I love my turquoise. Oops, sorry. Let's see, my eyes. I really need to use this palette more. I mean, look at the difference in that, those colors. And then we've got to clean our hands off because we've got another turquoise, but it's a matte. It's a matte color. So. <clears throat> So 
so here we go. Never used this color either, although I don't know why. Probably like the other color better is all. So that's that color. Might have to dip a second time. But they're still, I mean, next to each other, they are both very pretty colors. Next one, again, I have never used before, and it does appear to feel quite sandy, but a duochrome. So, that's what that looks like. Ooh, damn, definitely would be using that color. This color is more of a forest green, but again, I have never used this color. And it is a matte. Let me just dip one more time. So there you go. This next color, another brown. Imagine that. So that's what that looks like. Sorry, head to yawn. My eyes are a bit dry, so I definitely needed to yawn off camera. So, let's just get to these last two colors and then we'll discuss this palette. So the next color, it almost looks like a purple, but looks a bit dark. My hands might, my finger might have been a little bit still wet. But that's what that looks like. It's almost like a very deep purple. To me anyways, from what I can see. And then of course, always gotta have that black mat in every single palette. Well, maybe not every single palette, because the Pat McGrath doesn't have a black. There you go. So let's see how this black matte looks. Not bad, actually. So let me just wipe my hands off real quick before I touch anything. Okay, you guys, so palette is dirty now because of the swatching but this is what your palette looks like from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe and I'm going to set this down and here are your colors from the last two rows so tell me guys what do you think of this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration. I really hope that she comes out with more palettes because this palette was absolutely phenomenal for, for me personally. I don't think I ever I have ever spoken to anybody who has stated that they did not like this palette. I know it is a very popular palette. It is a little pricey for some people because it is $38. You can use like Laura Lee or Manny MUA as a discount code on Morphe directly. If you want to get a slight discount, you get 10% off. Um, as far as like what Jaclyn Hill's code is, Jeffree Star, because they're both on there as well for collabs. I am not 100% sure what their, um, what the discount code is. So you might want to Google that one up. But overall, I absolutely love this palette. Every time I have ever used it, I have, hard, I have had hardly any fallout. 
And how I do my makeup first is I will do my brows first. I'll use my primer and I'll use a primer or glitter glue for my eyeshadow and I'll do my eyes first and then work into my foundation and all of that. So let me know what you guys think about this palette because I thought I did a a review and swatches for this palette but I know and I did look um, I actually didn't do one so I'm super happy that this was the last palette that I had to do a review for in a full live swatching for you guys so hopefully you enjoyed it and you could really see the colors based solely on my skin tone but hopefully you enjoyed it and again if you aren't subscribed please subscribe and turn on your notifications for me and there may be some giveaways where I do ask that you show proof that you are subscribed and have your have um, my notifications on in order to be entered into one of my contests as well. Now I do run contests throughout multiple different platforms. I'm only using three at this point. I do not use Facebook. I do not use Snapchat. Um, there might be a time when I do use Snapchat, but Facebook I probably won't ever use. So. Keep that in mind. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop a note below. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed seeing these colors up close and personal. And I will see you in my next video, which will be skincare, but it's not going to be recorded tonight because I'm really tired now. Um, after going out to eat, having a couple drinks and whatnot, I am ready to edit some more videos and hopefully, you guys will see at least one tonight. I will do my best. Um, I'm actually working from home tomorrow, so I'll have more time. Shh, don't tell my, my boss. I'll have more time to edit videos for y'all. Y'all, you all tomorrow. So stay tuned. I will have a get ready with me with some palette that I choose. Just not sure which one, but if there is a specific one that you're looking for that you would love to see get ready with me, then again, comment below. And I will see you guys very soon. Hopefully you guys have a great night and thanks for watching.